All right, guys, three minutes and go. And I need to apologize, 100%. Uh, I haven't done my, uh, I haven't done my, uh, my daily, uh, positive 40s out loud. I'm living them to the best of my ability. Uh, but I'm reading, as many of you guys know, the Think and Grow Rich book, right? I got it, borrowed it from my sponsor, and I told him, finally told him the other day, I'm gonna buy you another copy because this one's all beat up because it's been in my backpack and the pages. Like, I'm, I'm reading it, and like, I'm dissecting this book line by line, and it's just so, oh, it's like, it's crazy. And it talks about an, uh, the auto suggestion chapter. Through the dominating thoughts, one permits to remain in the conscious mind. Uh, whether these thoughts be negative or positive is immaterial. The principle of auto-suggestion voluntarily reaches the subconscious mind and influences it with these thoughts. You, whatever, like I've been telling you guys, what you believe is what you achieve. And the funny thing is, you know, I told you guys how my kids made that poster board. I actually brought it with me and it's sitting in the hotel uh, on the lampshade. So when I wake up or I go to bed, it's the first and last thing I see. Because I truly believe this, guys. Like, I truly believe that we are changing the world by what we believe. And what we believe is what we achieve. So if you believe, like, the podcast that just dropped the other day, you believe you're successful or if you believe you're a loser or you believe you're an abundant winner, either way, you're successful at it because the universe is going to line up for you. So let's go ahead and start this fire today. Like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to shave and I'm going to go spend time and love on my brother and help him out in the hospital until we figure out the next step. So, the affirmations today to get you started. I am ready. My efforts help me succeed. I can make a real difference. My hard work will pay off. I am strong and I have the power to make the right choices for me. I have a bit faith in my abilities. I got this. I'm grateful for what I can do and I'm happy to be me. My goals are achievable even though they scare me. And realistically, guys, if goals don't scare you, are they really your goals? I am confident. I'll be kind to myself today and I'm on the right path for me. I deserve love in my life and I'll take action to accomplish my goals. I'll celebrate the progress I'm making to reach my goals and I'll look for the good in things. I'm always learning. I trust myself. I'll try new things and I'll turn negative thoughts into powerful positive ones. I'll accept myself as I am and I love myself. I'll make time for what brings me joy and I am powerful and I believe in myself. It's okay for me to have fun and my possibilities are endless. I'm well rested and full of energy. I'm relaxed and at peace. I'm strong in mind, body, and spirit, and my life is a gift. I deserve love and happiness, and I care for myself. Healthy food fuels my body. Today, I'll take steps to reach my goals, and I give myself room to make mistakes and grow. I find moments of joy today, and I'll embrace my power. Now, this is the Think and Grow Rich is where this started from, and I even realized in reading this chapter, I'm not doing it 100% correctly, but I'm putting the, the steps forward, and then I'm going to tweak it, and it's going to happen. You have to have a plan. You have to have a number in your head, at least to start, and how you're going to achieve that financial freedom and what you're going to do in exchange for it. So I am going to be making a million dollars by the end of this year after taxes on top of paying off my home, my car, my credit card. Find any type of financial obligation of a debt will be paid in full, and I will have a million dollars in my bank account after taxes. And every year thereafter, I'm going to double that base million into two million, four million, and so far until I, I'm going to build so much generational wealth that my family can't give it away for the rest of existence. And I'm going to put in place wealth generators and uh, break, and uh, I'm going to break generational curses on poverty and mental uh, thinking of what money is and how it controls you. Like I am going to change the game, and to the point where someone can be able to follow my plan. Apply it to their life, just like this book, Think and Grow Rich, and change the playing field for their family and generations to come. In exchange for this goal, I will do everything I have mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially to achieve it by building a social media empire juggernaut whose sole purpose is to help people achieve their uh, life goals and missions by building long-term relationships and making that happen. And in doing so, 
I will achieve my goal of changing the world through random acts of kindness. And my personal commitment to myself regarding this is that I will never settle and become complacent in the comfort zone. Because in the comfort zone is where you go to have your hopes, dreams, and ambitions die and you, you start settling. I'm never going to settle again in my life. I will strive and I will push myself. Even if I fail, I'm failing forward one step closer to that goal than three steps back. Today is a great day. I woke up today. My brother has a new kidney. Uh, I'm feeling the love. It is just a I, like I just woke up, had some free uh, breakfast, healthy breakfast, had some eggs and some sausages, no bread, uh, having black coffee. I'm already uh, 40 ounces into my gallon of water. You'll never in a million years hear me say that it's all beyond my control. My attitude, my mentality creates my reality. I'm sure you can agree that it's not true that good exists only if one's surroundings are good. True happiness will be obtained because it's all in my mind and my heart. It's not true that satisfaction and happiness don't last. Goodness will always shine through even if the world seems like a pretty evil place. Because when you take a closer look, there's always something good in every day. And don't try to convince me that today was the absolute worst day ever. Now that rings more true than ever. Uh, you know, my brother was, you know, we had made the decision that if I didn't get approved for the Mayo Clinic, I would, I, we were done. That was three, three clinics that said, no, we couldn't do it. And he was ready to go into hospice and say, you know, I don't want to live like this. Dialysis is killing me, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. My brother was broken. He didn't want to do the deceased donor because they said it was going to be three to five years on top of what he's already been waiting. Uh, and he for whatever reason, he decided to give it a shot and they told him three to five years last week and we got a call literally a week later and today he has a new kidney. You never know what tomorrow brings. You never know what the next second's gonna bring. You just gotta hold on no matter what. So I'm gonna end with this, guys. Like I said, page 58 of Think and Grow Rich, this poem, I decided to call it What You Believe Is What You Achieve. It's been a game changer. If you think you be, you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you'll lose, you've lost. For out of the world we find, success begins with a person's will. It's all a state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You got to think high to rise. You got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or late, the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. What you believe is what you achieve, guys. I'm here to tell you that no matter what, if you continue to strive and be the best version of you, you're going to change the world one random act of kindness at a time. I'm living proof of it. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. I promise you, we need it.